Hello, hello everyone. My name is Laura. This is my channel, Laura's Little Library, and welcome to today's video. I don't mean to say welcome to today's video in every intro I do. I just did that once, and then twice, and then and again and again. Anyway, welcome to a new video. Today I'm doing the Taurus tag. I was not tagged by anyone. I decided to do it because I am a Taurus. My birthday is May 10, so Taurus is my star sign. Uh, I will have the link to the original creator down below. Uh, but let's just get right into the tag. So there are five questions and they are pretty fun. So the first one is Earth Sign and name a book with Earth in the title. So the only book that I have that has Earth in the title is one I haven't read yet, but I want to, and it's actually on my Kindle. Yeah, I have a Kindle. I never talk about it because I haven't charged it in a while. But that book is Journey to the Center of the Earth. Like I said, I own it on my Kindle. Um, and I haven't read it yet, but I've been meaning, every time I keep thinking, like, my Kindle is perfect for traveling, so I can read it when I travel, like, when I'm on an airplane or, you know, something like that, because I can't read in the car, but I fly on planes quite a bit, and I just, I just haven't done that recently. I've flown quite a bit, okay, quite a bit for it being still a year of lockdown. I had three trips on a plane. One was domestic, one was to Canada, and one was actually vacation to Ecuador and Panama. It was wonderful. Anyway, not the point. Um, so there's no good reason I haven't read that, and I've been wanting to. Side note. So I recently watched a Olivia Reads a Latte video, and she has started putting stickers on her Kindle, and that's a great idea because, like, this is the only Kindle case that I have, and it's getting quite beat up and the green is like fading and like I don't mind the green but I think if I were to add some stickers on here it would give a new life to my Kindle case so yes also I need to use this more I I finally kind of realized that ebooks are good and useful and a great way to receive arcs <laughs> So, I need to charge this up, and then, you know, maybe I can also read Journey to the Center of the Earth while I'm at it. Number two, very reliable, oh, thank you, name a reliable bestie. I would say a re pretty reliable bestie is the best friend in Star Daughter by Shveta Thakrar, or Shvita Thakrar. Um, so our main character is half human, half star, and she accidentally injures her father, so she has to go... Uh, up into the sky with the stars to ask them to heal her father and they say fight in a competition like a competition of art and music and beauty not like fight um and then we will help you heal your father and so <laughs> she does that and her bestie is right by her side her bestie eventually goes up into the sky and supports her and is like there for her on every front of her life and I just love her she's so reliable she's got a nice personality so I hope I can be that kind of bestie I mean I would not be opposed to falling someone into the sky at all but mm, I gotta find a star to be a friend first <laughs> question number three is ruled by Venus the planet that governs love okay uh, name a book Name your favorite romance book. So I keep going back and forth between which romance book is my favorite, either Red, White, and Royal Blue, which I've talked a lot about on this channel, or Beach Read by Emily Henry. This is like a new favorite contemporary romance. I haven't read that many like contemporary romances and not a lot of them have stuck out to me, uh, but this one certainly did and so I love it very much. She is a romance writer, but she's technically classified as women's fiction. Let's not go there. She's a romance writer. And he is a literary fiction writer. He's expected to write America's next greatest novel or whatever. And goodbye. <laughs> and it's an enemies to lovers. They decide to swap genres because they are both kind of in writer's block. 
Um, and it's adorable. I love the enemies to lovers. I love the whole writing background premise. And there's a bunch more going on in the story, but you know, the point of this was the romance, so. Number four, very committed. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> Name a character in a book who is very committed. And I am going with I Want to Be Where You Are, and this is by Christina Forrest. This character, I say, is super committed. So let me just let me just readjust here again. Okay, okay. So basically, this book book follows our main character who is a dancer, and she wants she needs to make it to this audition. If she wants to like have any future with dance, she needs to go to that audition. But her mother is like, uh, no. But then her mom goes out of town on a cruise with her boyfriend while the auditioning is happening in a different city. So our main character and the neighbor that she hates and has history with and is like, mm, towards, uh, gear up for a road trip. And she, I say she's very committed because she keeps like missing the audition and then knowing that there's another one in another city. So she ends up like following the company throughout the entire book. So it's, it's uh, definitely a road trip book and she is, so committed to dancing. She is not giving up on that audition. She's gonna go, she's gonna dance her heart out, and she's gonna be amazing. Um, so I would say that that's pretty committed. Uh, I don't know what else would be more committed. And the last question is question five, and it's possessive. Uh, possessiveness is a trait of ours, which yes, that is true. So the question is, name a character who exhibits this trait. And I would have to say that Lula from Bruja Born very much exhibits this. So I have uh, Labyrinth Lost, which is the first in the trilogy, but Bruja Born, the one that... So this follows sisters, and it's a trilogy. So the first one follows one sister, the second one follows another, the third follows another. So I'm going with the second book and the second sister, Lula in Bruja Born. That's this trilogy. Um, she is very possessive kind of over her boyfriend but like not but in a way that at the very beginning in the book they break up and she's broken hearted and then there is a bus accident and she is I don't know if possessive really is the right word to describe her but I couldn't really come up with any other character that is like super possessive per se um but she goes through the effort of raising him from the dead to keep him. She could not lose him. She just, there was no way that was going to happen. So, yes. It, it definitely, it was, it was a good book. I love the entire trilogy. I would highly recommend it to anyone and everyone. But, yeah, that's, that's the closest I could come up to for that prompt. Only five questions. That's not too long of a tag. Uh, but thank you for watching if you've come this far. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below, what is your star sign? I am very curious. Are there any other Tauruses out there on booktube with me? Um, otherwise, yeah, if you are a Taurus and you have a channel, I am tagging you. Uh, otherwise, you know, the person who created this tag has also created it for all of the star signs, I believe. So it'd be really cool for you guys to go down and watch all of her videos, maybe do your own star sign. I just had a lot of fun with this. I don't particularly believe in them, but I think they're a lot of fun to just play with. Um, yeah, anyway, otherwise, subscribe if you like this video. I am posting four videos every week in December. That's a lot of content, so if you subscribe, you can hit the bell so that you can be notified when I post so you don't miss anything. Otherwise, I have bookish, bookish socials <laughs> down below that you can follow me on and I will follow you back or you can friend me and we can be friends and we can give each other recommendations and have a great time. Uh, but otherwise, that is the end of this video and until I see you all in the next one, I wish you happy reading!